ago, uh, Aaron and I talked about uh, what is the situation we are in right now, uh, and um, what what can we do about it? What can we learn from it? So we said, okay, let's let's get together, uh, let's get online together, and let's see uh, what we can talk about and share with others, because there are some things that are different in the U.S. than here, and there are some things that are pretty much the same. First and foremost, it's the Corona crisis. So, but. Before before we start, let me just uh, ask Aaron to introduce himself. Uh, I, I can give a short notice that we go way back together, uh, or we go way back from 2004, I think, right? Mm -hmm. uh, from Bethel College, uh, where I studied, and uh, he was a resident director. And um, for the last decade plus, He's been having, he's a co-owner of, of one consulting company called Next Element, operating from Newton, Kansas, worldwide, having partners worldwide. And basically we're in the in, in, in the same uh, business industry. So that also struck, struck us, uh, what can we do and how can we help and what are the perspectives of other industries and other people? Mm -hmm. So can you give more about you, Aaron, please? Sure, sure. Well, as George said, we do go way back and uh, my professional experience is in organizational development. Um, I work primarily in uh, executive team development and coaching and culture change initiatives within um, both local, regional, small organizations. And also we have um, curriculum that we've designed for enterprise solutions uh, for very large uh, multinational companies as well. Um, so I kind of wear several hats as an owner. I'm sometimes involved in, in the design of curriculum and how to deploy that at large scale levels. Um, uh, anywhere from that to uh, doing a coaching session to running webinar course, um, sometimes taking out the trash and creating marketing uh, material as well. So do a little bit of everything, but um, uh, we, we manage a network of about 80 trainers around the world. Um, and, and focus primarily in leadership development and specifically on healthy communication and how to harness the energy of conflict for positive transformation. Um, so that's where we're, we're really focused. Mm -hmm. And in times of crisis, conflict is inevitable. That's right, conflict is everywhere. So how, how, do, we, yeah. how do we manage through it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And I'm, I'm so, going to put, I would love to connect with everyone. Just one last thing. So mm -hmm. I'm putting my um, LinkedIn profile there yeah. in, in the chat. If you all would um, care to connect, that would be great. I'm always looking for ways to expand our, our network. Great. Great. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Since it's uh, right now, it's a small group. I, I think it, it would be fine to have everyone to introduce themselves uh, briefly. So let's start with Alia, please. Uh, Ali Vegeta, head of sales team in a private owned telecommunication company in Bosnia Herzegovina, working uh, with two way radio systems, with uh, police equipment, um, with governmental organizations. Uh, been here for 15 years already, and uh, so far, so good. Okay. Uh, why why did you uh, sign up for for this uh, discussion? Why did I sign up? Well, mm -hmm. first of all, I know I know Georgia, and I know that Georgia is always pushing us uh, to do our best, even though if we don't uh, feel like doing so at the moment. <laughs> And uh, also, the important thing is that uh, the question, where is our focus now and uh, what should we do, or what will help us to prevail in this moment. Uh, also, I agree that this is a historical moment and yet to come, of course. So, well, interested well in said. that. Yet to come, yes. Yet to come, well said, yes. So that, that's why I'm here. Thank you, Alia. Thank you very much. Uh, Amir, please. Yeah. Oh, 
all of the same reasons like Alia. Generally, we are facing, I think, uh, very, how to say, very challenging time. So um, I personally believe that we are, as a society, are moving one step forward in evolution. <laughs> it doesn't mean that we will have better society, but we will at least have a more focused <laughs> topics in, in the rest of our lives. So mm -hmm. actually this, uh, <clears throat> I see this like uh, an, any, any phase uh, where, we, where, where we upgrade ourselves, you know, uh, also as a, as a person, as a member of society. And uh, we are, I believe in the time where we are, how to say, uh, uh, tuning our, our scopes to what uh, is the life purpose and whatever you know so this is the reason why i uh, uh why i jo uh, joined to this webinar just mm -hmm. to let's say to to discuss more about those things and can you, normally can you, you, can you, you are shortly actually, introduce yourself uh, amir please yeah, yeah. actually uh i'm uh, let's say uh Currently, I'm the uh, I'm operating some uh, business development activities in company Mibo Comunicatie. Before I've been in BH Telecom. Uh, before that, I also set it up one ISP. Uh, before that, I also have been in BH Telecom. Actually, I introduced the mobile telephony in Bosnia Herzegovina. Before that, I operate with some satellite system. Before that, I have been in the some computer center at that time. It was called uh, like that. So I have a, a lot of experience in the communications. And uh, actually, I, I'm following some uh, topics from the management in the last 20 years, let's say. So mm -hmm. this is my background. Mm -hmm. I have several projects uh, mostly focused as the new technologies. So that's. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Amir. Uh, just for a reference purposes for Aaron, BH Telecom is uh, um, something like T Mobile or Sprint or Verizon. So that's actually the, the number one in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, and uh, Tomáš? Hello everybody, I'm Tomáš Teroy and my background is in IT. I'm a programmer and mathematician, but after programming a little bit, I started to work with sales and HR because if you lead a small team, our original company is like 15 people, then you realize that you just became a psychologist, so you get uh, to be interested in uh, handling people better and then eventually learning about organizational development and after some other startups we started an, started an HR focused startup where we do fun employer satisfaction service and this is how I got to know George and we were together and I'm here because I'm curious what's happening in this historical and historical times Okay, thank you, Tomas. So, uh, Aaron, um, what's um, what's the situation in the U.S.? Uh, what's the situation with your business? Uh, what's the situation with the government in the U.S.? Uh, <laughs> can you can you give us? Uh, 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 we know we know now that we have a uh, uh, we have a big change in Hungary. That's that's what we all read in news, but. What uh, and and Tomas can tell us uh, a, a bit more uh, later. But can you tell us from the other side of the pond what's going on? Well, I think you know politically the 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 summary version here. There's a lot going on, but from a business standpoint, um, the they've the government has released a stimulus economic stimulus package that's the largest stimulus package in the history of the country. So it's a little over. Uh, two trillion dollars that's supposed to be released to businesses. Um, 
the the that's okay you know it's really needed right now the downside will be for companies like us that are small um typic the the vast majority of that money will go to huge corporations um so uh what we're seeing is um there's going to be significant fallout uh in the business world here where I mean, it, everything's closed and, and people, people, their businesses are going to have to change. They're going to close and, and either not reopen or they're going to reopen differently. So um, even including our business, then what that means for us is that we are applying for a couple of different um, government funded uh, small business loans. And one is forgivable and one, one will be forgivable at the end of the year. It will just be a grant. And the other one we will pay back over 10 years at a really low interest rate. Uh, we hope to get both and we don't know if we're going to get any. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, that will be uh, critical for us to get them um, at this point because our, our business income has slowed down dramatically, our revenue. Um, it'll pick back up, but we, we need the stimulus to get through about two or three months probably. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe even through the entire summer here in the U.S. Who we'll see. Um, does that that answer your question enough? So I'll maybe pause there. Or do you want more? Um, yeah. Uh, and the, the other thing is um, um, to add to that. Um, so what did you do so far in that sense? So uh, what what since you face this challenge of uh, business being stopped and yep. and I assume I, I would also like to hear from Ali and Amir how is that in in in, in sure. Bosnia especially for what they're doing yep. but also for from from Hamash's uh, perspective uh, w what are the 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 steps that you took uh, right sure. away I can tell you really quick we we developed what we call a pivot strategy probably within uh, a day or two and so um, one thing we did in in uh, inside of our company right away is we we stopped paying our salary, which is painful, but uh, we have we have to do it for cash flow. The other one is we uh, we started working with our network and developed a strategy to start supporting our network of trainers. So we're having regular forums weekly, to uh, j much like this, but it's focused particularly on our curriculum and what kind of training they're doing and how we can support them. Um, and what we helped them do is we, we gave our online version of, of uh, a course that we offer uh, to them. We're giving them uh, that the ability to do that for free. They don't have to pay for it um, so that they can expand their business as much as they can for, so that it grows after this crisis and encouraging them to uh, be generous and support their clients in the best way that they can. And so we don't want to charge them for that. Um, and we're, we're doing the same thing with our current clients. We've reached out to all of them, um, whether it's a 30 minute coaching session or they want us to do a, t a short team training or, or a session where we're doing uh, leadership development work uh, for an hour or two. We'll do that for free, probably for the next month or two. Um, for sure at all of April. And then the fourth thing is um, we created uh, three new introductory courses that we're offering to prospective clients that are specifically designed on this around this crisis and how to manage yourself and how to manage your team by working from home and dealing with the stress. Um, and they are kind of progressive courses. The first part is free about 90 minutes long and then people have the option to buy uh, assessment and materials only not not our time for a three-part uh, three-part uh, um, course that goes forward from there and that'll probably get us through the next six weeks um, mm -hmm. so that's that's a lot of detail but that's how we decided to address it and we've we've kind of hit that running here this week mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Thanks, great job. What what we did uh, is uh, we tried also to reach to to all our clients. Uh, this uh, crisis kind of demonstrated how important it is to keep your clients list uh, all on the 
in, in, in particular order uh, and prioritize, etc., etc. But we try to immediately reach to to all our major clients to establish the connection and say, "Hey, hi, we're here. Whatever you need, just let us know." Uh -huh. uh, to see how they're doing and to um, understand, <clears throat> excuse me, to understand what kind of challenges are they facing right now, so we can see if if we can support them or or someone from our network could potentially support them. Um, and uh, I, I think that's a that's a great point. And at the same time, we need to create more more stuff. So what what we're doing right now, we initiated these uh, online discussions. Uh, because um, I think it, it's it's a good way to generate ideas, uh, exchange ideas, and potentially also uh, get new leads, uh, get get more ideas, but also connect people, interconnect people, and see what what people needs are. And uh, to to what you said, you created three new introductory courses uh, in in one week. <laughs> Could you could you say that is possible like uh, a month ago? Uh, necessity is the mother of invention. Yes. So uh, yes. No, yes. I, so, I don't think so, we would have we would not have attempted it before this. No. Yes. Yes. So that, that's what I'm that's what I'm seeing in most people and and also in, in uh, for us at Maverick Consulting. You know, we're we're just. Uh, fighting uh, and trying to harvest all knowledge, experience, and, and, and talents that we have just to incorporate in one and, and get out there. Uh, so obviously uh, this crisis uh, focus, at least from my perspective, is on the opportunities. Uh, opportunities. That's that's where the focus should be, uh, as as Alia kind of mentioned. So where should we focus? Opportunities. We need to we need to uh, uh, wipe off the all the clutter of information, irrelevant information, and just focus uh, on on where are the opportunities today and tomorrow. So what's going to go up? What's potentially going to go down? We we cannot know that for sure, but. Every day we have more knowledge and more information. Um, so, uh, did, did you want to say something now, or you wanted to ask others to share what they did? I'll say one more thing. That was my I'd, lo I'd love to hear from everybody else. I, I think, as far as opportunities go, um, I've been impressed and, and surprised pleasantly that there are there are companies, at least here, um, that we're we're finding that are calm. Uh, even they're they're calm amongst this this fear and this difficulty, and they are looking forward and using this time to train up their people, to reorganize, and they're and they're very willing to partner with people. Um, it, you either have to know them or find them, or hopefully they reach out. Um, but but they're there. They're out. There there's some of them who you know everybody's gone home to work. A lot of them are working from home. And they're saying, we want you to develop yourself. So in our line of work, that's great news because they're out there looking for uh, professional development. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a uh, good point. Uh, especially now when, when we cannot move much out of the home. Uh, I, I know I can't uh, legally. If I move out, I'll, I'll go straight to prison for three years. Uh, if I move out uh, and, and pay... I don't know, uh, fifteen hundred dollars, which is not much in U.S. dollars, but uh, for here, it's 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 enough, um, and um, it's it's a great way to uh, keep this social connection running, and and that's where we can learn. So, Ali and Amir, what what did you guys do so far? Well, oh, so far. Uh, I'll speak, and uh, since we come from the same company, Amir, uh, we just uh, feel the need to, you know, fill up uh, my saying. Uh, just go ahead. So, uh, but we did, we had a quite a good uh, reaction to the situation. Uh, mm -hmm. More or less, I think our country has done at the beginning. Quite had a good uh, perspective of what's going on, and uh, 
the country itself is quite a mess, but uh, in usual times, but this in extraordinary times like this, uh, they did some good moves. Uh, and I think that's the reason why we are having a uh, smaller number of uh, infected people. I uh, don't know how long it will take, but uh, for now it was okay. As for the company, the business we are running is a bit different than you guys are doing. Uh, other than services, we uh, we are also selling equipment and uh, doing some system integration stuff. Uh, and we had some contracts uh, already which need to be uh, included in it. Needs to needed to be done. Uh, of course, we informed all of our customers about uh, our uh, things, what we have, what we decided to do in this situation. That we are still there for them. Of course, with all the uh, considering uh, considering the fact that uh, COVID nineteen or Corona is uh, is there. Uh, so we told everybody we are still here for you, maybe with limited capacity, but uh, things are going to be done and going to be finished. And we live up to it uh, still. Uh, regarding the company itself, uh, we split into several uh, shifts, uh, two week shifts, like uh, two weeks, one part, one shift is in the office and the other shift is in the working from home, which um, I must say I'm pleasantly surprised how things are uh, have been accepted here because working from home in Bosnia and Herzegovina is uh, something we uh, under Satan is saying we are not used to it. Uh, but we are doing it quite well uh, with a lot of humor and trying to be positive on that side and not on Corona. So. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so in, in your opinion, is it is it only then uh, that, that you're uh, now overcoming just the corona or the, cri the the health part of the corona crisis? What else are you facing or, or, or trying to fight against? Uh, what, it is difficult uh, to say. We are trying to fight everything at the same time. Uh, I think regarding Corona, uh, we managed to, to do some organization which will uh, be productive uh, until we get the, uh, the infection itself and we, then we'll see how it will go on. Mm -hmm. uh, regarding the business, that's where things get tough and I think they're going to get tougher. Uh, kudos to, to Aaron and uh, sorry that you guys had to uh, stop your paychecks from going uh, in your pockets. Uh, we are still, uh, I will not say working normally, but we are trying to do as much as op much opportunities as possible. Uh, uh, working from home does not mean that we are able to upgrade ourselves through some seminars and webinars and everything else, but also it means you need, we need to push ourselves to the limits in order to get the usual business uh, to, to continue mm -hmm. as much as it can continue because we are working with government organizations, government agencies, uh, and also private-owned companies, telecom operators. That's the business that has to run. Uh, uh, we have to provide all our customers uh, an options to, to run their businesses, and we need to be there for them. So uh, it's kind of so you, tough. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. So, so basically, uh, you, what you're saying is that you've already reached out to your customers to check on them. Yes. Yes. Uh, and uh, do you think that you can continue doing sales uh, in this situation and acquiring new customers as well? Difficult. Do you think you can? Well, I'm doing it. <laughs> oh. So I'm, do I'm doing it, but uh, it's 
it's a challenge. Uh, as you no, said, I'm doing, we are doing it. Yeah. As you said, we are focusing on the opportunities, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. And where where do you see them? Where do you see them in this situation? So how can you how can you uh, move your business forward in that sense? What are you using? What kind of strategies? Uh, of course, not the secret strategies uh, 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 or, or the, the the business secret side of it, but like what kind of attitude, what kind of uh, steps are you taking? Uh, uh, how do you reach out to your customers or potential customers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say, Georgia, we are moving forward uh, with some sales opportunities. I mm -hmm. would say that we are moving, uh, trying to, to stay positive, trying to make enough opportunities to make the business keep going as it, mm, as much as it can. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are reaching out to some of the old customers, some of the governmental agencies, some of the, some of them who we know they need some kind of uh, equipment, some kind of systems integration, uh, however tough it is. Uh, so uh, I wouldn't say we are, uh, we, we are trying, to, we are fighting to to remain in business, I would say more like that than to uh, reach for some new business opportunity, some to put business forward. Because right now nobody knows, I think, which way this will go. Uh, one direction, certain the digitalization or digital transformation of the health system uh, is sure something which everything everybody will work on in the next. Uh, in the following year, mm -hmm. uh, so that's one of the opportunities where some of us can see uh, progress. Mm, and yeah, others, I don't know. Uh, so, there are lots so, of things so, going so, on. So, let, let me try to use something that that we already discussed, but uh, in 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 one hour other business talk. Um, there, uh, Darko Lukic identified uh, um, like three major uh, uh, players in this situation. One is uh, the, the guys that are kind of making profit out of this situation, not in a bad way, just as a consequence. So it's uh, a food industry and uh, a chemical industry in, in, in that part of disinfection, right? Uh, everything yeah. that has to do with, with uh, health, uh, uh, and, and that part. Then we have ones that are maybe similar to you that might be losing some money, but they're not going to get shut down. And then we have a huge amount. There is a, a, a one um, a data that says, or estimation that says that about 35 million people will lose jobs in the U.S. or 30, yes. or, or, or something like that. Will stay uh, out of uh, so. so 35 million, that's 10% of total population. Uh, how many small businesses will, will lose their job unless they're ready to transform and use this moment yep. uh, uh, to transform totally. So uh, with this, I would also like to hear from Tomas uh, uh, because they're dealing with, with a lot of companies. How, how are you seeing this as, as an opportunity? Uh, and what are your challenges, Tomas? Um so I think <clears throat> this is a this is just an interesting situation which will speed up some of the changes which are there for a long time. So like the basic problems that we see in society like comes from automatization and uh, even global warming, but mostly automatization. So this will just speed up that you know in every country. Some of my friends uh, said that we live in a ringtone economy where most of our uh, jobs are meaningless and we just scratch each other's back. And in this kind of situation, that means that if you don't uh, want our backs to be scratched, then, then many people will lose their jobs. So what I see is that this digital transformation is super strong. So some of the schools I know um, became more successful. And in our case, we do digital services, so this can even make us stronger, but we are still checking the data. 
So what we actually do is we gather the knowledge inside of companies. So we ask like the whole organization, what do they think about something? So we will see these changes um, in that data. What I see now, we are now uh, asking people how, what are the biggest challenges in remote working and and those are. Do you mind? Do you mind? I'm sorry. Yeah. Do you mind sharing yeah. that with a group, please? That link. Yeah, so yeah, they yeah, can, yeah. They can also fill, fill it out. I think. Yeah, I think sure, it's sure. Uh, uh, it's very important that that we all check that out because uh, what you guys are doing is very very interesting, and um, uh, it's. Yeah. So. It's, it's interesting mm -hmm. data that you're gathering in the way you ask people. How yeah, yeah. So this this survey that we are running now is, is focusing on remote working and the challenges and everything. And basically what we see is that these are like uh, challenges that you can fix. So a lot of people have problems uh, splitting their uh, work and non-related family issues at home and they have they are anxious and they need physical activities and everything so we can all fix this but I think the underlying issues are are more important will we go back to the same society where you know governments are just printing money and uh, many companies are just uh, floating because uh, government subsidies or, or a good stock market from which comes from the same so it's more in the next rounds we want to ask uh, deeper questions uh, from these companies just to give you some example how can they get stronger at the end of this crisis or what would they want to finish to to survive this uh, crisis so that's that's more interesting because then we will see what are the you know what are the chances to get stronger but i think everybody just have to jump and we will jump like uh, five year in digitalization and we will probably not go back to the same uh, same situation my other um, observation is that this is a hard time which means that it comes uh, it brings out the best and the worst from the people like my government is not reacting the best way i think they are they have just i said underlying issues to they use this situation to lower the level of democracy but in in other countries they act better i'm i would be really proud to be a german now because they were flying like italian patients at home and have them so this is this is the deepest question for humanity if we will uh, open and feel this like uh, global pandemic if we are all in this together or we will close down the doors and and uh, we will try to be egoist and survive that way and i strong strongly believe in the first solution but i'm not sure that will happen so that will be interesting yeah and, and the, your uh, your observation is very interesting uh are, are we now gonna open the doors actually because we're all in this together globally or are we gonna <laughs> shut down and just be uh, think that we can be on our own uh, because uh, I think it's more of um, I don't know um, yes we need to be on our own for a little bit just to recuperate and, and put our thoughts back together uh, in, in order but then obviously we, we cannot be alone I mean yeah. we all depend on each other uh, the, the whole uh, you, you Thomas also mentioned global warming and you know uh, echo uh, uh, issues as well are it doesn't matter where you live uh, they just circulate and then come to even those who are very responsible in each has Aaron yeah I was just uh, I'm, I'm noticing as everybody's talking about how we're all we're all also focused on this idea that there's 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 change that's evolving, that we're gonna come out on the other side of this and things are gonna be, I think, in many respects of our life, very drastically different. Um, and I think there will be some pain involved in that. Like you mentioned, Georgia, lots of people losing their jobs here. I mean, the US has such a monster economy and its own monster ego <laughs> that this is really, uh, people are struggling with that. You know, we're not used to being told where to go and what to do and uh, uh, it's it's we're getting beat over the head with that right now, which is uh, challenging for a lot of folks. 
And I think just uh, what a week ago, there were 8 million people, 8 million or more applied for unemployment in like two or three days, which was mm -hmm. more than one year before. Um, so it, it, it's going to be hard hit. And I, and I, I, I love your perspective, Tomas, because I think that we're going to take some quantum leaps forward in some areas that will be hopefully, I'm, I'm hopeful that it will be better for all of us collectively. Um, it might look ugly and be messy for a little while, but I think on the other end, we're going to be better for it. I, I see also there uh, a chance for, for, um, smaller communities, smaller countries as mm. well. Uh, why am I saying this? Um, if we look at what, what happened and how many countries reacted worldwide, um, putting aside Germany maybe for now, and maybe Sweden, uh, but um, unfortunately uh, in the Balkans we had uh, 30 years of constant chaos. In the U.S., the last chaos you had was about, what, 13 years ago, 12 years ago, right when I left the U.S., I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, huh. uh, but but uh, what's, what's the difference? I mean, you couldn't afford yourself three cars, you could just stick to one car, you know. We had way, way different, much deeper uh, turbulence in that sense. And the crisis today is not about the money. Right. Uh, that was 13 years ago, also global crisis with the money. Today, it's not about the money. It's about uh, where, where should I put this money in? Mm -hmm. uh, where should I focus my energy to? Where Exactly what you said about this discussion, what should be? Where should our focus be on right now? Mm -hmm. And in that sense, I see the opportunity of, of, of smaller countries, and I, I could say uh, that in, in uh, uh, former Yugoslavian republics, maybe, maybe we have uh, a, a, an advantage in the sense that uh, uh, because of the experience we had of the, the hardship of the, uh, of the last 30 years, we might be able to adjust more quickly and to uh, keep uh, uh, this pressure on longer than others. Uh, because you, the, the, the level of commodities you guys have in the U.S. Uh, or what you consider commodities and what we consider commodities, it's, it's very different. different yeah. or, the, or, or, or the Western world in that sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, what, what, what is your perspective, Ali and Amir, on this? I think I have... you're right, Georgia. Yeah, Amir, go ahead. No, no, no please continue. I will, I, I will follow you. <laughs> okay. Uh, the level of commodities is different here and in the U.S. Uh, for sure, but uh, the, the consequences are pretty much the same. We are here also losing uh, business, people are uh, applying for unemployment uh, day by day. There's like, uh, today there were like 60, 70 people uh, here, just here in Sarajevo, uh, said they uh, applied for employment. I mean, 60, 70 is not big considering 3 or 8 million last week in, in the US, but uh, it's going to get bigger. Uh, all the small businesses, uh, the small shops, they have stopped. Uh, hairdressing salons, uh, uh, coffee shops, uh, Mm, home appliances, shops, everything. It's all stopped. Uh, <clears throat> nothing is there. The goods are there, but the people are not there. They cannot buy. Uh, they don't have income. They don't have nothing. And it's just uh, they have both given the, the last money they had to buy food, to buy supplies, because God knows how much uh, this uh, quarantine is going to to go Last. on so mm. so and uh as uh, as is as was said earlier uh the government also here is not doing uh, what they should be doing or helping people uh i don't know at least we come from socialist countries and uh, we think that 
uh, they should help. It's people. government's responsibility. Is, is that what it's you're saying? Gov- yes, it's government's responsibility to help these small businesses. I, I think the same thing is in the U.S. as well, uh, even though it's uh, it's different. But uh, Bernie Sanders would uh, would be happy for. <laughs> Uh, to hear this, but anyhow, I think it's government uh, responsibility to get the, to, to get the, uh, uh, to help the small business because that's I, where the majority of people work. It's like I think 30% of uh, of people work, and the income comes to the government from from that. Side. I, I I could just say one thing. Uh, what I've learned in the U.S. is that the government support to business usually goes to corporation, not to small business. Uh, and um, uh, on the other hand, for for our region, at least I see, yes, it's going to be tough. Uh, it's already tough that a lot of these people are out of business. But you you mentioned a hairdresser. What if a hairdresser now can uh, because he or she is pushed uh, um, not to work or unable to work uh, to use cell phone and record. Hey, how can you, you know, at least cut this so you look at least okay on a conference call? And, and keep the uh, ears. And <laughs> and keep the ears. <laughs> yes. Uh, and how to get uh, money for that? Uh, and 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 it's it's uh, basically uh, uh, we're much smaller. Uh, in that sense, and smaller teams, smaller organizations, uh, smaller communities, at least I think, and a lot of science is behind that, can transform faster than bigger ones, especially ones that have experience of having to transform again, 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 and again. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so I see that we'll be uh, uh, able to faster move to online business. I think uh, uh, that that people will be able and find ways because we're very uh, uh, um, able to find find new ways, uh, very creative uh, in this region uh, to to offer uh, services that are online offline. But if, if they're offline, they're gonna be you know sanitized. Uh, uh, Food brought to your door, contactless food, or whatever, just to keep the business running. In that sense, you are right, Georgia. But uh, there has to be some transformation done there. Uh, just yesterday, I ordered four, four six packs of beer to be brought to my door. Uh, but that's yesterday and they need to make uh, this online delivery the, the thing Amazon ha- has gotten into in the US that's something which is uh, which is future here mm-hmm. for sure mm-hmm. 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 so uh, Thomas and, and Aaron are uh, starting a chat here uh, do you guys mind to share that with us verbally so uh, oh. <laughs> our audience can also uh, watch it and listen to it yeah, go ahead, Thomas. I have a, a, I, I my just, own theory, yeah. but <laughs> I, will, I will continue. Share it, up. share it. Go yeah, for it. Okay. Yeah, I watched uh, a few reality shows with uh, survival, you know, <laughs> on discovery. You know. <laughs> yeah. And I, I believe that today we are in situation when they put the people from a helicopter in the some mid of that uh, wood or island, whatever. <laughs> and first, what are you doing? You are following your instincts. Uh-huh. First you are positioning yourself, then you are searching for alternatives. Uh, Food, maybe, water, uh, fire. Yeah, yeah. First, you mean, you mean uh, flour, sugar, piling that up? Yeah, first you are you are actually <laughs> developing your, your stock for survival. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, Alia and me, have we had an experience, similar experience uh, 30 years ago. So maybe uh, we have some... Uh, how to say uh, we uh, see this situation on a little bit different way. But we had yeah. a similar situation in 70s with Variola Vera. Mm-hmm. It was also uh, uh, social distancing, uh, mm. but at that time there was no alternative to communicate 
uh, with the other people except directly physically or by telephone old telephone ordinary telephone so when the crisis passed we continue to follow the usual habits uh, i believe that uh, we will also we may not we may change the habits but we may not change the instincts so we will let's say just uh, redefine some business models but we will not uh, we will again accept all all possibilities or opportunities which society will give us to uh, what will fulfill our goals our, our i don't know life life's uh, goals whatever and uh, uh, one from from my my point of view important thing is that uh, we will uh, let's say uh, have more impact from society even before we had uh, actually the society let's say treat some brands not just to make a profit or be some uh, first in the industry whatever but also the it was very important the feedback of that company to society so i think that after this crisis actually that uh, society will make more pressure to such companies to give back some uh, to the society so that's my observe okay interesting observation uh thank you uh tomas uh, uh yeah 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 so i believe in data i don't really <laughs> believe in nations nation states i think they are totally useless and artificial all of our countries it's it's just you know an area where we live together it doesn't even map too well to nationalities it is sometimes a slight problem in east europe so but uh the only thing uh, for which this is useful, like countries, that we can A-B test theories. <laughs> like we see, we have seen it with the, with the pandemic that uh, data scientists are put together which were the best, you know, acts to stop the, stop the spreading of the virus. So I think we will see the same on a nation level that uh, we can test like uh, innovative solutions like micro, micro mobility. There will be finally bike lanes in New York and more in Budapest. We can test uh, universal healthcare, which should be everywhere mm -hmm. uh, in the U.S. We can test, um, like I said, un universal basic income, which looks like a much better idea. Uh, like giving everybody a thousand euro goes back to actually to the economy, and instead of that, countries just give the that money to the one percent. I think this is what happened from the financial crisis. They they kept uh, printing money and just gave it to bigger organizations that the stock market was too strong. So instead of those, we can try some innovative stuff. Everybody will have some crazy idea in different countries and we can see what works best. That's, that's yeah, the income, but we will try really shitty, shitty ideas also, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, most well, we're, most, yeah. I, I think, Tomas, you can count on our country to try the shitty ones. We, we do the same so <laughs> so no, no i i i really i really like your mind and the way you're thinking and i i, I am I, I'm, I'm very interested in what innovations come out of this and i think ultimately it will be good but, um but we have to make mistakes absolutely i mean we we, we also have to try with stupid stuff yeah. as well yeah otherwise we won't be able to move forward we won't be able to learn and um Hopefully, it's going to be used for good, not for you know total control. Right. That's, that, oh, that's hopefully. It's, yeah. Hopefully. Well, well that, yes. that's, that's I think, on, Judge. I think that's the crux of of where we are as a global culture. Um, whether or not our, our individual countries are more socialist or communist or capitalist or whatever you want to call it, the it's still we're still quite individualistic as a whole. And so it's all about how can we get what's ours. And I think this kind of situation really pushes back against that and says, is this really what you want to focus on? Or are there, or are there other ways? And when you, when you look at, uh, what is it, the four Asian tiger countries, how they handled this, this pandemic in, in Singapore, Taiwan, um, 
is fantastic and their their results are amazing so i was thinking about that tomas when you were talking about ab testing just to see the data and the modeling that they put out on how to track this and deal with it and of course they have experience doing it multiple times so they 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 were they were ready and uh, it's yes. kick, it's kicking the, it's, ass here and it's different mindset yeah yeah, 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 but they, they also had really nice privacy problems because one part yeah. of that is tracking where you yep. go and who do you meet yep. with the digital stuff and... It's not clean, and, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. But what is, what is clean? What is clean then? And, uh, and uh, um, why do we call it clean or not <laughs> yeah. clean, fair or not fair? Yeah. If, uh, if when... If, if the goal is to save lives and save economies. Right, right, uh, no, you know, point. Uh, so, so what are tools allowed in that situation? And uh, that's, that's also a question, you know, if, if, you, if you would let the virus just go, what would be the end result of it? Yeah. Right? Uh, Should we do that? First of all, it's not on us to do that or not. Uh, George, uh, I don't think we can escape from this that easily. Uh, my guess is that this will last for uh, at least half a year or or, or even more. Uh, it will not stop just like that. Uh, this is something which we all have to go through and uh, this is something which has to be uh taken into account for future development or whatever yeah, yeah. uh i'm checking the spiral dynamics the, and the values model uh psychological model the thing you just said in the, in the chat uh the values will change yeah uh, the values are already starting to change uh perspective of doing business with private companies from our perspective Doing business with private companies is going to be tough because private companies don't have money. They will put the money aside to pay the, their workers because their workers are their main asset. So, and if you want to continue working, you will, you will first take care of your main asset and then you will take care of the, all the further things. So, uh, it's going to be tough. I think the US is going to be uh heavily uh hit uh in the next i would say two to four weeks yeah. uh new york is just uh, one part of it uh and it's it's going down on you guys sorry to say that but uh it uh -huh. has nothing to do with trump and his decisions but uh it's going to get if you don't take care and you are not taking care because it's different mindset than in Asia, uh, it will be different, uh, similar to Italy or Spain or wherever. No, I, I agree. Uh, I, th I think they're talking about uh, probably probably a minimum now of of, uh, of of a million people here in the U.S. will die. And die. Yeah, that's what a lot of reports are saying because there's going to be a flattening out. That I mean, we might reach our peak in two or three weeks. Um, yep. But but there will most likely the epidemiologists here are saying there will be a second round that'll come months later. Um, Currently, we are taking care of each other. We are in right. home quarantine, but yeah. it cannot go further on. You know, right. Uh, right. when you go out, you will still have to keep that social distancing uh, mm -hmm. online, as I say. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, some. The focus will have to be pushed to some other things. Which ones? I don't know. Uh, it, to, to start wrapping it up, when you said to other things, which ones? Let's let's try to identify a couple of things that we could at least consider to focus on, at least to scratch on them and see. Uh, uh, spend several minutes uh, on on that. Not right now, but at least you know after this conversation on our own, and then. Back together with more topics well, and, and to continue the Georgia, I, as I said, I'm checking the spiral dynamics. Uh, it says psychological model that highlights stages of development, specifically around values. So, uh, focus on what? For what are the next values? 
that's what we should focus on. Uh, and, uh, the process about that values. We can now guess that it's going to be food industry. We can guess it's going to be some something with the online delivery and uh, and stuff, uh, government agencies and uh, tracking people down. Uh, I, I think we're going to see a lot, at least in the U.S., I think we're going to see a lot more uh, focus on collectivism or what, you know, the, the dirty word that you guys use for the socialism. <laughs> That people, that people, which I'm all I'm all for more of it here, um, but that's a that's a really has that been. We need to stick together. Yeah, Is that yeah. What you're saying? And yeah. so I, I think we're going to see that in our education system will change. I think our medical system will change, um, and and who knows what else? Um, certainly the way we do business. But um, I would love to focus in on how do we, as this small group, if we choose to continue or merge with the other one. Um, what what is valuable for us coming together and, and where do we put our focus on how to how to look forward proactively and help each other do that and spread to our own networks that would be something i'm interested in hearing from people here here yeah and maybe that's just the question we ask and we get together and ponder that question you know I don't know. everything's maybe changing so quickly there's the question we can wrap it up with mm -hmm. exactly exactly yeah, yeah. exactly so let's let's think about how we can come together again and 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 uh what can we uh or how can we contribute each other to uh develop new values for us or maybe not new values for us but maybe for our businesses for our customers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? We have to do it. <laughs> okay, okay. Then, then I'll leave uh, Aaron to let us know when he's available next time uh, to get up this early uh, to join us. Uh, and uh, if you guys are up for it, just. Uh, uh, let us know. Uh, you also have his contacts, but you will. You can also sign up on our uh, list. Let me just see where that is. Uh, this is how well prepared I am today. <laughs> but let's not do it soon. Let's do it in about uh, ten days or two. Yeah, weeks. I was going to say two or three weeks would be good. Yeah. Yes, two or three Here weeks would be good. It would be good to have some. Some space between this uh, and yeah. the following me online meeting or whatever. We'll, we'll surely we'll have a lot of development between now and then. I'm sure. Yes. 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 Uh, I also shared a link with you where you can. Uh, uh, that's not for you or Tomas, but for Ali and Amir, that they can uh, answer uh, several questions that how you're handling crisis in this situation because we would like also to share that data with you. And next time we need, we can compare the English version and in our local language versions uh, to see, you know, are, are there any differences globally and, and in this region uh, and to see uh, how people are looking at things. So, guys, thank you very much for joining. Uh, Tomas, you have any last words? No, thanks for your time. This is interesting. <laughs> thank you all. Okay. And thank just uh, make, sure, <laughs> make sure to clean your computer, Tomas. <laughs> <laughs> the zoom virus yeah I yeah guess. yeah that's right. Yeah. All right okay thank you all yeah. thank you all very much okay. and yep. stay tuned bye-bye okay, yeah. bye-bye